Hey, welcome back. Today's video is hopefully going to be pretty quick and also really practical. I wanted to talk about five things that you can do to elevate your everyday makeup look. So these are just kind of like five really simple things you can incorporate into your makeup to look a little bit more polished or maybe just to catch people's eye a little bit more. I feel like when I do these steps or add these steps in my routine, I always get asked while I'm out, you know, what products I'm wearing or how I do my makeup when in reality it's just very simple minimal things that you can do that just make quite a big difference. So I'm already wearing a basic everyday look. This would be like what I wear on a daily basis. And I just wanted to show you how you can add on to what you already currently do. So my number one tip to elevating like any makeup look, and this is gonna be so basic, most of you already know this, but that's just adding a pair of natural lashes to your makeup look. And I know I'm gonna get comments saying, I don't have time for lashes. I don't know how to wear them. It does take practice. If you've never worn them before, you're gonna to have to practice beforehand. Uh, also, you really need to find the right style of lash. So I'm not saying that this is gonna be like a one and done thing that you're gonna be happy with, but if you do want to kind of bump up your daily makeup look, believe it or not, I can put on lashes quicker than I can mascara. Um, I have very short lashes, so it takes like four to five coats for my eyelashes to even stand out. So basically, while I'm finishing up my eyes, I just put the glue on my lashes. They're done drying by the time I'm done with my eyeshadow. I pop them on, I'm done. It transforms any makeup look. So tip number one, natural lashes honestly a game changer. All right, so lashes are on, already made a huge difference. These are Ardell Demi Wispies, just what I like to wear on a daily basis. But if this is a little bit too much for you, I'll have a lot of natural lash options you can look into down below. So tip number two is to just add some glow to the eyes and the face. So what I'm gonna do is I actually have just uh, my Benefit What's Up highlighter stick, and I'm gonna use this as a face highlighter and also so on my eyes. You can use a powder highlighter. I've got a Fenty one right here. You can use a liquid highlighter, whatever you have on hand. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run this over the inner portion of my lid and also on the inner corner of my eye. And you can see it just kind of adds a little bit more illumination, um, something, just something more to look at. Just a little bit more interesting to look at, if you will. So um, yeah, super easy. I'm just taking that, like I said, on the inner portion of my eye and popping it on the inner corner. Then I'm just gonna take a brush, beauty blender, you could even use your fingers, whatever you have on hand. And I'm just gonna take that along my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and just add a little bit more um, life into the skin. And I don't, you guys know I love this product. Um, I think it's a great layering product. So if you already have foundation on or concealer or powder, this will layer fine on top of it. Tip number three is kind of going to be more for the scenario of you like going back after work and retouching your makeup or adding these steps uh, after like the end of the day. And that's just to rebronze the skin. I always find that by the end of the day, I've lost a little bit of color. So um, I just like to go back in with just a tad bit more bronzer and rebronze the skin, add the color back into my face that I have kind of lost throughout the day and it's just kind of like a quick bronzy pick me up. Tip number three is kind of giving the illusion of a fuller brow. And what I like to do for that is honestly just brush my brows up with some clear brow gel, or you can use something that's a little bit more tinted if you need some more color. I know this seems like a very basic step and like I said, it is, but I, especially in pictures, I'll always get asked um, how I do the feather-like strokes with a pencil, and it's actually not a pencil. It's just me going in and pushing my brow hairs upward. This is really good if you have smaller brows as well, and it just kind of gives, you know, that feathery, fuller 
illusion. So yeah, literally, I mean, you can see the difference between this brow and this one. This one just kind of lays a little bit more straight. This one has got, you know, some pizzazz to it. Tip number five is just to re-emphasize the lips or give the lips a little bit more emphasis. This does not mean you need to overline your lips or go in with like a bold lip liner. I actually really love this one from NYX. It's called Beige and it's kind of like my natural lip color but better. So I just like to um, emphasize my lips with this and then I always feel like a gloss just completes the look. You guys know I'm not a huge matte lip person. I just think, um, I think matte lips a lot of the time can age a look. And so by just adding the smallest touch, if you're not a gloss fan at all, I understand a lot of people don't like the, you know, sticky feeling, but just add like a little dab to the center of the lip. And I promise you it makes the biggest difference. All right, so those are the five things that I incorporate into my daily look just to elevate it, make it a little bit more special, something that, uh, you know, is a little bit more polished. I think that you can definitely tell the difference from how my makeup looked before to how it looks now. And I know this was a very simple, probably straightforward video, uh, but sometimes I feel like we forget that simple things uh, can actually make the big biggest impact. So those are the things that I add to my routine if I want to bump it up by the end of the day or if I, uh, you know, just want to make it look a little bit more special. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.